Welcome to the Fleetistics implementation of GeoTab. Here is where you begin the process of configuring your new fleet management system. This session is the second installment of our first step series. The first is our introduction to MyFleetistics fleet management portal. Once you're logged into MyFleetistics, the My GeoTab option is clicked in the left menu to access all of the features and components of your new system. Now let's get started. Over the next few minutes, we will discuss the initial configuration of your system, navigating the application, the map, naming your vehicles, and using the trip's history. Before getting started, let's make sure your internet browser is best suited for accessing the features of GeoTab. The browser of choice for GeoTab is Google's Chrome. However, Internet Explorer 11 and higher, Firefox, and Safari are also compatible. Now, let's log in to get started. Go to fleetistics.com and click the customer login link located in the upper right corner and enter the login and password set during the introduction to my Fleetistics step. Finally, click the login button. From the my Fleetistics homepage, click the my geotab button on the left to proceed. At first login, there is an end user agreement for the MyGeotab system. Once you accept the agreement, the product guide is displayed. The initial page displayed at login can be specified by each user. This allows users to see the page most appropriate for their situation. Let's take a second to change the default startup page by clicking your username and selecting options. Now, we'll scroll down to the default page at startup option and make a selection from the menu. In order to apply changes, the save button located near the top of the window must be clicked. While we're in the user options window, let's take a look at the other features that can be set by each user. The first selection on the page is the distance measurement system. This allows users in all regions to view distance in the unit of measure appropriate for their location. Time zones are managed the same way. For companies with offices in multiple time zones, each office can view the time zone appropriate for their locale. In this window, we can also select the mapping system of choice. In this tutorial, we will be using Google Maps. Time zones are managed on two levels the vehicle, and the user. This feature allows users to view the map and reports in local time zone, while over-the-road vehicles can keep track of information in the time zone that is local to the vehicle. Time zones for the user are specified in User Options window. Time zones for the vehicle are specified in the window accessed by clicking Vehicles and the vehicle name. Click the plus More Details button located near the top of the window, then scroll down to the Time Zone field. Like with all setting windows, to apply changes, click the Save button located near the top of the window. Now that we have the User option set, let's take a look at the map by clicking Map in the left menu. By default, all vehicles are displayed. Display of a vehicle can be toggled on or off from the vehicle menu. This menu is interactive. Clicking the name of a displayed vehicle turns the display off. Clicking the name again turns the display back on again. Options at the top of the menu allow for selecting and removing all vehicles. As vehicles are selected, the map resizes to allow for the display of all selections. Now let's take a look at the conventions used on the map. Vehicles displayed as a square represent a vehicle that is stopped. By positioning the mouse over the stopped vehicle, a pop-up is open containing the time, date, the vehicle stopped, as well as the address of the current location. The star represents a vehicle that is stopped inside of a zone. Just as with the square, you can position the mouse over the star and see information about the vehicle. The triangle represents a vehicle in motion. The point of the triangle indicates the direction of travel. 
Positioning the mouse over the triangle displays the current speed of travel as well as the road and the road's posted road speed. The trip's history provides a list of trip segments a vehicle has traveled for a specified day. Let's take a look at the trip's history by clicking the button located near the top of the window. The history includes vehicles selected from the menu. You can always go into the menu and add or remove vehicles. Each trip segment includes the date, time, stop time, idle time, driving time, distance, and an icon indicating the rule exceptions took place during the trip. To view rule exceptions, position the mouse over the triangle. To view the breadcrumb trail of a trip on the map, click the segment in the trip's history. To add another segment to the map, click the segment. Note, each segment is numbered when displayed. The number corresponds with the segment on the map. Once the breadcrumb trail is displayed, the mouse can be positioned over any point of the trail to see the speed, time, date, and posted road speed at that point of the trip. The day or date range for the trip's history can be modified by clicking the Options button. Also included in this window are preset time periods to display the current date, yesterday, this week, this month, last month, or custom to specify a date range. In this example, we will display the trips for September 15th through September 19th of 2015. Here, we will display the breadcrumb trails for all trip segments for September 15th by clicking inside the header for the day. Clicking inside the header a second time turns the trip segments off. Officially, the history for each of your vehicles is available for a one-year period. However, most accounts have access to data that is much, much older than one year. A report format that can be printed is viewed by selecting Report or Advanced from the View menu. Once the selection is made, the Excel or PDF icon is clicked to display the report in the respective formats. By opening an Excel, all of the tools available through Excel are available for analysis and printing of the data. This includes the ability to sort, view the data in a pivot table, or even add your own formulas and formats for presentation. Once changes are made, the report can be saved on your local computer to upload back into the system. This provides the ability to view the report online through the View menu. Adding a pivot chart that you can have included in the report to the dashboard, or to schedule the report for a delivery by email. For more instructions on using reports in Geotab, Please see our reporting class in the LMS or videos on fleetistics.tv. The Summary button located above the trip's history provides a visual summary of the vehicles and date range displayed in full view. In this view, the distance, driving time, and percentage of time spent in zones are displayed in pie chart view as well as timeline view. The Dashboard option in the main menu displays a window containing visual charts of your reports. Customizations include the ability to add reports, change the order of the display, or remove reports. Charts included in reports can be displayed on the dashboard by enabling the option in Administration, Reports, Dashboard. For more information on working with reports in Geotab, please see our Reports LMS class or video. The next option below the map in the left menu is Vehicles. The Vehicles option displays a list of your vehicles along with the device serial number and model. Clicking the vehicle name opens a window containing the editable options. The Driver Feedback tab provides access to options associated with in-vehicle audible alerts to notify drivers of actions that violate rules such as speeding or aggressive driving. The Groups tab provides options for assigning vehicles to groups. 
Groups provide a method for categorizing vehicles for reporting, display, and management purposes. The icon located to the right of the vehicle listing opens the map with the vehicle's current location. The Activity menu provides access to on-screen reports such as risk management, drivers congregating, IFTA reports, and view accidents and log data. Also included are tools such as the speed profile, configuration for work hours, as well as the settings and features associated with the hours of service option. The engine and maintenance menu provides access to options associated with engine diagnostics, fuel usage, DVIR, or driver vehicle inspection reports, trailers tracked through the hours of service, and the management of maintenance reminders. The Engine Data option is a submenu providing access to engine fault and engine measurements reports. Just as with the trip's history, these reports can be displayed on screen, as a print format summary, or as a print format detail report. These reports are available by making selections from the View menu. To change the date range or vehicles included in the report, Make selections from the Options window. The options available from Zones and Messages include Zone Management, options for importing Excel spreadsheets to create zones, the Customer Visits Report, Route Creation and Management options, and messaging to and from vehicles with optional Garmin units installed. Zones are used to define geographic regions used for tracking vehicles arrival at, departure from, operation inside, outside of a location. Clicking the Zones option displays a list of existing zones. They can be edited by clicking the name. New zones are created from the map window by clicking Add Zone. For a complete discussion of using, creating, and managing zones, see our Using Zones LMS class or a video of the same name from Fleetistics.tv. For a complete discussion of the use of routes, please see our LMS class, Routes and Dispatch, or our video of the same name from Fleetistics.tv. The options available from the Rules and Groups menu include tools for creating and managing rules, managing groups, and viewing exception reports. Rules in the GeoTab system are used to define actions or conditions that you would like to be aware of or notified when they occur. For example, a rule can produce a log entry to be viewed on a report or it can be sent as a notification when a vehicle's speed is 10 miles per hour over the posted road speed. Notifications can be emails or text messages to a smartphone using the email to text email address available from your cell provider. When a vehicle meets the condition of a rule, the action is called an exception, and exceptions are logged and can be viewed on an exceptions report. There are two types of rules, standard and custom. For a complete discussion on the creation and use of rules, please use our two LMS classes, Standard Rules and Custom Rules. We also offer videos of the same titles at Fleetistics.tv. Groups are used by the system to control access by users to vehicles, exceptions, and zones. Groups used in conjunction with user clearances can be structured to provide a branch or departmental manager with full access to system features while providing visual access only to vehicles assigned to their group. For example, in a company with multiple departments or locations, groups allow for displaying only vehicles assigned to that department or location through maps and reports. A single report can be configured to deliver reports that contain only the assigned vehicles for a specific office or department. Groups can also be used for applications as simple as restricting the display of an owner or manager's vehicle to subordinates. 
Groups can also be used to manage the delivery of reports to users. A well-planned group structure can provide numerous options for the viewing of vehicles, delivery of reports, and managing the content of the reports. For a complete discussion on groups, please see our two-part LMS class, Using Groups, or our video of the same name from Fleetistics.tv. The Administration menu provides access to report templates, dashboard templates, email delivery options, users, and system options. Report views provide access to templates for all reports in the GeoTab system. For a complete discussion on customizing reports, please see our two-part LMS class series, Basic Reports and Customizing Reports, or videos of the same names from Fleetistics.tv. The Users selection provide options for managing users. Once selected, a list of users is displayed. To manage user settings, click the name in the list and a new window is displayed. Here, a user security clearance, a group membership, and user specified options can be edited. Once changes are made, the Save button located near the top of the window must be clicked to apply changes. This tutorial has provided a high level overview of navigating the GeoTab system. For more in-depth discussion, please register for one of our bi-weekly webinars. If scheduling is a challenge, we offer a complete series of classes through our Online Learning Management System, or LMS, by selecting the Help Center from the left menu, then clicking Fleetistics Academy in your GPS portal. We also offer all classes in simplified video form from Fleetistics.tv. Thank you for attending.